Hey, dude, we're real fucking tired, um, but that's okay. We'll talk for yeah. an hour. We'll swear. It's fine. Classic. Classic. You sprung the intro goal. on me. I like, did. When I wasn't even expecting that. You just did it. Yeah. Well, like, because I was saying what we were both feeling. We're like, fuck it. We're tired. Let's do this. Mm-hmm. Um, I think, is this two episodes in a month for us? Dude, I don't know. You know, people should feel off. No, they shouldn't feel awfully lucky. <laughs> they should feel awfully lucky that they get to put up with us six times this month uh, as opposed to the old two. <laughs> or they could just you know choose to fucking not and then don't <laughs> <laughs> but no i i, I track i cracked open my truly on mic all these cool things that we get to do on this show here it's fucking awesome danny True. i feel like i talk to you every week but i never actually talk to you how the fuck are you doing <laughs> uh <laughs> it's true we do talk every week but don't talk every week you know what right. i mean uh yeah i'm doing all right yeah uh just uh like 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 yourself real life has been extremely uh busy and tiring um and uh yeah i uh mostly uh i just want my bed to fucking get here Oh, dude, do you so, still don't have a bed down there? <laughs> dude, so did I tell you about the super bed that I had to create? <laughs> Wait, did you do like, okay, I know you're a college student right now. So did you just get a bunch of milk crates and create your own own bed? No, it's, it's, it's better, but also worse than that. <laughs> if you understand what I'm saying. All right, so I got, uh, so I had a queen size air mattress, right? And one mm-hmm. of the ones that's like real thick, like it's like two feet thick or something. Yeah. And uh, just killing my back. I do that bad after after a couple of weeks. So if, if I was you, I would have literally went and bought a new mattress from Costco and then returned it in two weeks when well, the actual mattress got there. Let me tell you what happened. <laughs> okay. So I bought. So we bought a trundle bed like for guests. Appreciate it. And uh, my wife, yeah, no problem. And uh, you're not going to like it. It's a twin. So, <laughs> gonna lose some weight before I visit you. It's fine. No, no, no. I just mean that your your legs are gonna be in your chin. Like it's not very long. Are you gonna molest me? <laughs> uh, I don't You're know. I mean, you may want to go look. Your... Up, you may want to go look up your molesting terminology on <laughs> Wikipedia. <laughs> Um, anyway, so I bought, I bought a couple of twin memory foam mattresses, uh, for the, for the beds for our our guest bed. And I stole one after I tried to sleep on that. And that was just worse. Oh God. Um, so yeah, (laughs) don't thank me yet, buddy. (laughs) (laughs) And so, uh, I threw the memory foam, the twin memory foam mattress on top of the queen size, of the queen size air mattress to create a super bed. (laughs) It's half like, air mattress, half memory foam. Is taking two of the shittiest bed materials in the hope of making the greatest bed material. Make making one passable bed. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's 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 how that's going. Um, otherwise, uh, I don't know. I played in a GT. Yeah, that, that's why we're recording. That's that's why is we that, came back is to that talk. The impetus. Yeah. No, that was the it's impetus totally of us recording because we're like, oh shit, you played games. I guess we should talk I about did. the games you played. Um, but yeah, so like, do you? Do yeah, you, we can do that. We don't have to do that right now. Yeah, we'll, we'll do, do that later. We got, we got, we got a, we got, we got a, like a whole tender, hour to fill up. Got to tenderize <laughs> the meat. Uh, a little that's bit right. First. We got to get them satiated or not satiated, but salivating, like ready for that next step. Yeah. <laughs> my um, dude, um, yeah. So, what have you? What been? about you, John? I I have been um, batch painting great eggs. And, Hell yeah! And, in batches of five, nice. As opposed to my usual batch of thirty. Uh, which I'm sorry. I do wait, for my death guard. Wait, wait. Yo, question. Yo, gray knights come in units of bigger than five. <laughs> Well, so I'm new to this whole Space Marine, or um, excuse me, Adeptus to Stardis thing. 
Um, but I found out about this thing called combat squatting, which means that I can break the rule of three uh, with specific units. And I'm a very sure. large fan of this. It so, lets you make like your ideal army of one data sheet even easier. Oh, oh it so does. I think my entire <laughs> army. Oh, no, shit. I threw a rhino in there. So we're like, what? One, two, Aww. three. Four, five, like six data sheets. In this That's a new record for you. I'm glad to see you've gotten some more variety it's, it's in your pretty list. pretty high. Like, <laughs> I do think like every time I go to build a list or fuck around, I do picture that meme that you posted like to the public, <laughs> to like not just our friends, but like I think literally everyone where it's like, the, is this an army? Like single data sheet. And I'm like, okay, I like what I like. Let's sort of go from there. Um. But now, yeah, I've been seeing these uh, GT and major winning granite lists coming up. I'm like, oh, fuck, oh. Do I need more strikes. I should go get some more strikes. I'm like, no, we're going to stick with a plan uh, and see how that goes. We have a tournament. Interceptors out. only. We have a, a tour. Well, yeah, that's pretty much it. But um, okay. we, we have a tournament coming up at our local store up here uh, this Saturday coming up uh, that I'm going to take my list to. Um, I flitted into our friend Josh's Custodes. Um, it was a, a high scoring loss, um, but a loss nonetheless. But I think a lot of it is just um, me needing to be more familiar with the list. And sure. I, ideally, uh, you don't get that practice on tournament days. But, you know, sometimes that that's the way that cookie crumbles. But it's exciting. Yeah, sometimes you just got to go for it. There's a couple of things in here. Let me Let me pick your noggin on this one here. Okay. I wasn't a big fan of Drago in my list. I put Drago oh, in. Okay. Wasn't, yeah, he's not. He's not in my lists. He's not. He's, he wasn't like everyone's like. Oh, you got to take him. You got so like the the list I built was um, Drago. Um, I had a uh, Nemesis Dreadnought Grandmaster uh, with the objective secured Warlord trait. Yeah. Um, and then he also had the little gem, so he could when he was targeted, like poop wherever he wanted to go. Yep. Uh, I kind of also silencer. like to poop wherever I like, wherever <laughs> I want to go. It's it's how you make your mark. Uh, I had the chaplain <laughs> with words of power, uh, which yeah. I think is, is is so good. Um, it's great. I know Dude, we, he is am- he's amazing. We talked to Mitch about it on Tuesday and Grim After Dark, and he he is of the opinion that it's, he has the same opinion of the words of power as you have about Epidemius, where it's just making. Oh, it's just a win more. Yeah, it's just a win more thing. I disagree, but like I'm not as good a player as Mitch, so we'll, <laughs> we'll leave it at that. Um, then I have three units of five strike, uh, uh, three units of five strikes uh, with halberds. Uh, uh, well, sorry, four halberds and one um, warding stave. Nice. Um, I have three units of ten interceptors with eight halberds and two warding staves in each. Nice. Um, and then two Dread Knights and a Rhino. Uh, and that's a list. Uh, that certainly is. It, it is. So you've got like 45 Grey Knights. Yep. Three Dread Knights. Yeah. A couple of characters. Not, yeah. um, that's cool. And then the way I played that's a fine it. list. The way I played it was uh, I had all of the Intercept, well, one squad of Interceptors and a Rhino. Uh, and the only reason they were there was to get an extra three inches movement turn one. Uh, you know, like right in the line, disembark, uh, then fly out. Bro, um, we're always all trying to get three inches of extra movement. Oh, hell yeah. I mean, that's... <laughs> and honestly, it worked. It kind of did what I want to do. I, I'm worried about the durability a little bit. I need to be a little cagier with my hiding. Um, yeah. But, like, everything was combat squatted. And then I used the interceptors to move up and block lanes. Um, and then uh, I had, like people trying to do the psychic objective that Grey Knights have, which if you don't have any denies or if you just have one denies, like an auto take. Right. Um, but yeah, so like the, the interceptors went and block lanes and like, yeah, I killed that squad. It's like, you sure did, but you're still in your deployment zone. So that's good great. job, buddy. You did it. So when I was pressing brethren, which the cool thing was, is I could jump forward, um, use the, the special power for the chaplain to change my tide to the mm. one where I could do the pressing brethren one over and over again. Yeah. Uh, so I would just keep on uh, stun locking as Dreadnought. So whenever they wanted to move or charge or do whatever, like on a 4+, plus, they took Mortal Wounds. Um, That's pretty good. So like that combined with blocking off lanes, man, it made him very like wary of where to move and what to do. Um, and like it worked really well. Just Custodes are a really tough nut for me to crack when nothing really on the list is above AP2. Um, sure. And that's really easily recursed. By, by a couple strats. 
But it was great. Uh, and again, the the more practice I get, the best, the better it's going to be. Uh, the nice thing about it, I didn't give a shit about killing out of the thing. Like, I didn't take a single oh. killing secondary, uh, which was nice. really weird and nice. Like, I took engage in all fronts. Um, I took the, like, do a psychic action. If you do it four times, you get six points. So, like, by turn two, I was up to 12 on that. Um, yeah. And then I also took, um, sorry, I was engaged. I got, um, like, hold, I think stranglehold was the other one I took. But, correct, hmm. I could be wrong on that there. But it worked really well. Like, I just literally kind of moved up, held, killed. If I killed, great. Like, as much as, like, wow, it's only a five-man squad, it's still 20 bolter shots from each one. With It sure bolters. is, isn't it? Like, and I'm it's like, surprising how like, much shooting that actually is. Like, putting that on the table after having, like, my death guard and just kind of laying them on, I'm like, wow, that's not a lot of guys. No. But each unit, again, shooting 20 shots, like, oh, okay, that's really fucking good. Um, and if needs be, I can do sanctuary in one of those interceptor squads and then maybe spend the CP to use the warding stave to give them a five up involve. They can be really fucking annoying, like really quickly. Yeah. Um, and especially if I don't care about killing you, uh, it's super, super nice. So I like how it plays. Um, I'll have to play a little bit more to see how it is. I'm a bit bummed. I built all of them with halberds. I think I would want a couple of sword squads, um, but it's the halberds are cool too. Well, you know, you could always build them with swords if you really wanted swords, John. They're already built. Oh. Yeah, I, I built 45 Alberts. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah. Well, yeah. you could always buy some more. And uh, make I think some I'm gonna, I need to go buy another Strike Squad box, and then I'll have 15 go. swords. And then I like it. That'll be that, because the swords are pretty badass. But it was nice. It was different play than um, Death Guard. And again, I've been playing Death Guard for like three years now, so... Uh, just it was refreshing to play something different yeah um and yeah so so that's what i've been up to uh man team tournament is in two weeks or something like that bummed that we're not this, going this this weekend this upcoming weekend oh, shit is it this weekend already it is <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, well bummed i'm not going but i get to go lose an rtt instead i'm gonna go to a star wars legion tournament <laughs> you're gonna go play star wars legion yeah <laughs> fucking nerd what you play <laughs> legion for <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, everybody here is playing Star Wars Legion. So uh, much as the the uh, ye old cliff proverb says, um, I'm just going to jump right off to it with everybody. That That is so, a famous biblical prose right there. It's true. What faction do you go for? Uh, the Separatists. Oh, nice. So I, got culture. The, I got droids. Droids are cool. Did you get droidy cars? Just so you could I yell, do. Just so you could yell out, send in the droidy cars. <laughs> dude so okay check this, out. <laughs> this weekend uh i did some homework but i also just turned on the 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 prequels <laughs> it was research Man, the first movie was so fucking bad like it was so bad dude. like it's one of the worst movies with the best casts i've ever seen it's in amazing my life. like okay so i bought my son he's two and a half and i, I got him the phantom menace attack the clones revenge of the sith like kids book series for like babies and stuff uh -huh. holy shit that book is awful like the first three pages are talking about an intergalactic trade dispute and i'm like this kid's three uh, <laughs> he doesn't understand about he this the next thing you know though john he's gonna be you're gonna tell him like no you can't do that and he's gonna be like but is it legal <laughs> Well, I'm like, buddy, can't, that's not legal. And the little dude's going to be like, I will make it legal. And that'll be like the proudest moment of fatherhood, like ever. For uh. me. <laughs> Hell yeah. What a oh great, my God, dude. What, what a great time uh, to revisit some of maybe our great sponsors. Um, and then kind of come back and, and talk about Danny's uh, GT performance. Sounds good to hey, me. Do you have a preference on what great sponsor we touch right now? Oh, uh, I, I want biscuits. I'm kind of hungry. I would like a biscuit. Okay, cool. Do you like cookies but want something more British? Buy biscuits. Not like those you have for gravy. British biscuits. For dunking in your British tea. Stiff upper lip guaranteed. Biscuits. As recommended by Queen Liz of the Britons. Yeah, fuck you, BCP. We're going <laughs> to play your ad. I mean, wow. No, damn, well, dude. Oh, no, not really. Thank you, VCP. We appreciate your support over the years of Bob Rules. <laughs> yeah. 
please, please, please don't, please don't cancel John's free subscription to VCB. Uh, well, I'm sure they put in a couple of years for it to be canceled, um, but it's just the server's taking time to update. Danny. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's good. That was a good quality joke. I enjoyed yeah, that one. Solid. Hey, you went to your first real big boy GT in the lower 48 at the Harbor Heresy in beautiful, sunny Aberdeen, Washington, home of professional wrestler uh, Brian Danielson. Um, really? Yeah. And also, it was not. Oh, he's from Aberdeen? It actually wasn't in Aberdeen. Oh, I thought it was in Aberdeen, Washington. Yeah, it was really close to Aberdeen. It's actually in. <laughs> Thanks, BC. Oh, cool. Well, I'm going to keep on saying uh, Aberdeen because it's That's in fine. BCP because Brian Danielson is from there. And I was also born in Aberdeen, Scotland, uh, not Aberdeen, Washington. Or yes, I lived. Well, whatever. You went to uh, GT in the lower 48 with real I people. Did. I did, John. I did. Take over because I've got him awful right now. Uh, I mean, I, w- I know that you're pro- like a lot of people out there are probably jealous of me um, in that I got to go play Warhammer for a whole weekend. That's but, fair. Uh, let, me- let me tell you, dude. Wearing my COVID raincoat for a whole GT was uh, pretty terrible. And uh, you mean your hazmat like, suit, well, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and no, like I'm totally down with masking. Sorry, I should say that too. Like I, I am a firm believer in masking. I think it's good, but like, holy fuck, dude, does it suck? Like, it's just, uh, it's by the third game, and so I was lucky this time because I did an RTT with masks in like a hot store. And, or where I was hot and it was like, yeah. I waterboarded myself on my third game. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> well, it was so damp. That mask is so sweaty and like, like wet. It was like breathe. Yeah. Anyway. Um, but this time I was smart and in between rounds, I went out to my car where it was hot and I hung up my mask on like over my windshield, uh, my windshield uh, or my rear view mirror and it dried off. So, Luckily, I had pretty much a dry mask every game, which was nice. And also for your opponent, I'm sure that's very nice too. Oh, so he's so I'm not like breathing like wet sweat particles all over him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like it's amazing, COVID's dude. fine. It's the sweat particles that are the it's real. It's really the sweat particles that are disgusting. Um, so, Danny, you've yeah, been talking so, about how you've been excited to get away from Admech and play something <laughs> that you consider to be fun. Uh, what did you take to your GT? So I took Admech. <laughs> Wait, I, I, I was. <laughs> I missed my soundboard. <laughs> Me too. Uh, so I, <laughs> I took Admech. Um, I took my new and improved list. Um, although I say new and improved, but like I didn't finish getting stuff painted. So I didn't get to exactly take what I wanted to. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, I did take. Uh, I still took, I took eight units of 10 Vanguard. I'm over here, like giving you shit for like <laughs> taking the same units. And meanwhile, I take 800 I'm, points of identical. I'm units just happy that, that you've seen my list and that's inspired you to oh, also that, have no imagination. <laughs> oh man. So I took those guys. I had a 20 man unit of Rangers. I had, uh, a 10 man rust stalker unit, two five man infiltrator units. I had a unit of four sulfur hounds and a unit of five sulfur hounds. Um, and then I had two iron striders with last cannons mm-hmm. and only two, two? Skitari, Yeah, a, a, one unit of two. Yep, that's it. Hmm. Um, one unit or a, a manipulus, a dominus. And two marshals, and it was like a patrol and a vanguard, or a patrol and a battalion with uh, the rad saturated forge world with scar fine weapons as well. Yeah, the second trait, uh, which is really freaking good. So uh, I got there. Um, I was surprised Tim Hubscher was there. Yeah, dude, you sent like pictures randomly. <laughs> randomly, some guy eight hours north of us, or like me, shows up at a tournament in Washington with no prior discussion or conversation. Or and I've like, been talking about this in our other team chat like a lot. <laughs> do you think so he, he knew. flew down just to fuck with you? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that that's that's a Tim thing for sure. Like if he did that, that I would not be surprised. <laughs> But he was there, um, and then uh, I spent most of the weekend hanging out with uh, uh, Colin Sherman, 
Oh yeah, um, yeah. From Best in Faction and Chuck and Mitch. And so like we did COVID safe uh, eating um, and that kind of stuff. So like whenever we left the venue, like we would just hang out in Colin's car and eat um, like Subway and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> that sounds way, it sounds way dumber than it actually was. It was totally cool. It was fun to hang out with people. Um, <laughs> I know you're silently there judging me, John. <laughs> Well, no, you're like, yeah, we, we did COVID safe eating by sitting in Colin's car together eating Subway. Yeah. Well, we, you know, like we didn't want to eat in the restaurant because there's pot. so much of people yeah. in there. Yeah. It's your pot so people we, you trust. Yeah, exactly. I'm so, just judging and then we you had, Subway when there's so many better options down there. Well, so we wanted to do Subway because it's, uh, uh, it's a safe meal for like mostly, like you know what you're going to get. It's the same every time. And there's no chance of, uh, you know, gut issues. Oh my! Let me tell you about like my subway experiences. Uh, that is oh, not okay. always the truth. Yeah. So what happens with you? Do you get the bubble guts? <laughs> Occasionally, it just tastes really shitty, which I don't understand. Because essentially, <laughs> I've designed this monstrosity of a sandwich myself. So I don't. It's your know. fault. It's, my fault. it's your yeah. fault that it's like this. That you're com- acting this I way. I complain to the manager, and they're just like, "You, you fucking designed it, bud. You yeah, <laughs> take dude. it up with yourself." <laughs> uh yeah so that was fine um and then we got dinner one night um and we came back to the hotel room and had dinner together which was cool uh let's see so again i played that ad mech list um it's uh, there was 49 people at the tournament so it was pretty close to a major yeah it was really quite. good I was, I was looking at it over the weekend yeah solid major uh a lot of or solid uh player base too like a lot of pretty good pacific northwest players i mm-hmm. would say were there uh with the notable exception of the portland crew of course they uh declined to make it uh i think that they probably suck yeah um, especially They're tanner scared yeah especially yeah, I, tanner i i knew i knew they were afraid of me in my raw power <laughs> thanks for still coming on on tuesday tanner i appreciate you yeah yeah for real <laughs> don't put this out until after tuesday we put this out at like uh 8 59 on tuesday night it's fine perfect you've done it fuck you've you tanner the, no, I'm kidding. The riddle. <laughs> <laughs> oh man anyway so uh my first round um uh i am a little hungover from the night before still um and uh because i was in my hotel room by myself and i was bored oh dude that is okay no 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 like like the solo hotel hangover because you're just fucking bored and you're like well there's this here is one of the greatest things because there's (laughs) nothing better than like buzzed watching just the selfish just the selfish as you can possibly be oh yeah man actually it's a good story i'll tell you about it later i don't want to i don't want to talk about it on here (laughs) anyway hey wait let me pause uh, this pause okay go ahead no (laughs) (laughs) you saying like this robotic voice like pause recording paused (laughs) yeah oh okay well then fine i can talk about it now (laughs) so the four hooker no i'm kidding yeah (laughs) oh this isn't a rob porter story (laughs) dude saved so much money (laughs) oh (sighs) anyway um so round one so i pull up to i I walk up to the table um and my opponent is this extremely nice gentleman with probably the most generic name you've ever heard in your life um john smith yeah it's literally john smith dude oh really was it (laughs) yeah (laughs) Uh, let me double check that but yes i believe that was the case anyway he was rocking some geronids um and uh yeah his name is john smith um he was playing tyranids he had like the swarm lord and neurothrope and uh three lictors and 40 gene stealers and a biggish unit of gaunts and three exocrines and two units of five hive guard. So sounds like a lot of a, trouble for a, a, it, a competitive ad mech list. <laughs> so this is actually, you would be surprised how much of, so I didn't know this, but John is well regarded as a good turn. player locally. And so uh, my first turn, I walked up 
And there was enough dense terrain on the table where I really didn't do that much. I think I killed one hive guard from one of the units with my infiltrators charging them. And then like, I think I just sat on objectives and maybe raised some banners. Now, um, just real quick, like saying you're a really good Tyranids player and being regarded as a really good Tyranids player is like saying that a Ford Focus is a really great car, but if you put it in like a NASCAR race, it's probably not going to win. Yeah, I mean, he's doing the best he can with what GW gave him. Which is, yeah, the fair. It's a terrible analogy. John Smith, you're, you're a great guy, great player. Uh, continue. Yeah, so <laughs> he he rolled up uh, and killed 40 or 50 Vanguard. Oh, shit, okay. Then I take uh, everything the back immediately. Well, no, it was not a good move. <laughs> uh, I don't think, anyway. Um, because he also pushed up his Gaunts, and I killed... All 40 gene stealers and the gaunts on the first turn uh, or on my second turn. So then basically he had to try and like he there was all these ruins in the middle of the table and I was able to kind of hide like partial units around mm -hmm. and he had to send in the swarm lord and that didn't go super well. Um, so yeah, uh, eventually all he had on his side of the table was some uh, exocrines and I was able to hold kind of the center of the board and just win on. I got 15 points of primary the f turns two, three, and four. So I didn't even have to stay on objectives if I didn't want to. He scored really highly, though. You won the game. Yeah, he did. 96-73. Yeah. I mean, he got 14 points for killing wounds of models. <laughs> uh, fair. So fair. he killed pretty much my whole army. It was just I got eradication of, or I didn't, I don't think I even took eradication of flesh. I think I just, I think I took, I don't know. I only dropped four points. I think I dropped a banner point and then like maybe a turn of, uh, Oh, grind them down or something. <laughs> I think that's probably what I took. Um, anyway, so, uh, that was a game. Um, he was a great guy, really nice opponent. Um, would, would definitely play again. Um, I hope he gets a really cool army in uh, in Octarius, in Octarius. Uh, next army I played against, uh, drew Matthew Bombard. He was playing sisters. Um, by the way, too, if you guys want to listen to me, like talk about like a really brief, brief overview of these games, uh, you can check into best in faction. Cause I was on there this morning talking <laughs> about that. <laughs> anyway. Hey, so holy yeah. shit. You're, you're rolling out like fucking backup material for me now. Like yeah. that's, that's where we're at. <laughs> you could just. You could just ask Colin to give you a recording of my. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna like yeah, I'm just gonna stop the recording here. We're just gonna <laughs> splice in the best in faction. <laughs> Colin's great at sales, but I don't think legally he's good at like copyright infringement. So we'll be fine. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, yeah it'll be it'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> he's clever, but he's not that clever. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Ah, this is parody. <laughs> ah, it's legally fine. <laughs> Yeah, we're mocking me. Yeah. Um. So, so anyway, I play against Bombard, and like I said in that in 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 that uh, Bombard didn't realize uh, that he made a really terrible decision at the start of the game uh, by offering me a Modelo. Oh no! Um, because when it was Modelo time, you know I'm out with the boys <laughs> and I'm ready to party. <laughs> Did you let him know that? Were you just like, hey? After he gave me the Modelo, I told him you fucked up, son. <laughs> <laughs> you gave me a drink. <laughs> yeah i'm legally not supposed to drink this <laughs> there's a court order against me i'm not supposed to drink in public <laughs> performance enhancing drug yep so real again matt had sisters matt's a great guy um he made a pretty critical mistake i think in this game i think he over deployed on one corner and then Basically, I didn't care about that corner, and I kind of tried to dominate the other one. Because mm -hmm. um, with your but, range and everything, you can pretty much call, like, a lot of stuff that you want to. Yeah, and just the way the table was, like, it was uh, it was Dawn of War, and it was uh, six objectives, but mm -hmm. there's one in your deployment zone and then two, like, right outside your deployment zone. Um, and so he tried to push for mine on, on that side with, like, some combat units, but I just, I gunned them down. So they were, they were nothing to me. Um, no, I'm just kidding. God, it sounds so awful. 
Uh, well, if you want to hear the non-arrogant version of Danny, I guess check out Best in Fashion. <laughs> if you want to hear actual Danny and his real feelings, <laughs> continue listening here. Oh, man. Um, I did a bunch of like suicide stuff to throw away units to try and do damage to his repentia because I didn't really care if my guys died. Like I was like, all right, whatever. Um, but if I took like five or six repentia with them, like it was totally worth it for me to throw a unit of infiltrators into them. Yeah. Cause then they're like, they're not, they're, there's not enough of them to really kill anything. Yeah. So that was awesome. Um, the, uh, He, I, I, Celestine was oh, as always a pain to kill, but I did manage to get her pretty quickly. And his list didn't have more of involved, which I think was a mistake too. Um, she's he had a bunch of auto take right now in sister's list, right? I think, I think she's pretty much an auto take. Yeah. Um, he had uh, three units of retributors and three units of dominions, mm-hmm. like with quad storm bolters. Those girls put out a lot of firepower, oh. um, and damage too. And it's potentially mortal wounds. So, uh, they were very good. Um, but yeah, I won that game uh, pretty convincingly. I think I got, what, like 94 to 66 or something? Yeah, I w- it was a pretty convincing win. Yep, more convincing than the last one, anyway. <laughs> Which, you know, there was a great transition talking about your last game against Hank. Talking yeah. about convincing wins. <laughs> yeah, this was probably the most convincing win, but that's because Hank basically was like, on turn at like at the end of my turn two, he's like, yeah, we can just call it. Oh, so, uh, like, so we're both playing Admech. We both have pretty similar lists. Um, like he has 60 Vanguard, um, but he's got six chicken walkers. And mm-hmm. also he's got like an extra unit of, uh, uh, what are they called? Rust stalkers. Mm-hmm. Um, but he's got, he has no sulfur hounds. He has no rangers at all. So I've got a unit of 20 rangers, um, which actually proved to be pretty freaking good in this. Um, and then he's got two units of nine uh, Cerberus Raiders. Oh, oh. like for so sniping, the, I guess, right? Well, yes and no. Basically, what he was going to, basically, his plan was if he got to go first, but spoilers, he did not, um, is. Uh, he was going to run the service raiders up and just basically clog me up in my back line because they get a tw- they get a nine inch move before the game starts and then they can also move twelve. Mm-hmm. And he could also just say, okay, well they're now movement fifteen instead. It, so it seems to be like that stuff you wouldn't really give a shit about, right? Well, no, he's going to jam me in my deployment zone and keep me from the objectives. Like he's got nine two units of nine of these things and they're on the line, so. He's probably going to charge me on turn one mm-hmm. and block in my whole army, and I'll have to like fight my way through them to actually get to do anything against his army. And that time, he'll be able to kind of take the center of the board and be able to shoot the shit out of me. Not to mention all the damage that they could potentially do. So, but so that would have been really bad. That would have been real, real bad. But that didn't happen um, because I went first and killed all of them instead. Because <laughs> you looked at it, and you're like, oh. I don't oh, want man, you anywhere near my lights. That's really dangerous. Please die. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, my whole army killed uh, all the ponies and then killed uh, one of his units of infiltrators and then also killed two units of Vanguard. Oh, that's quite a lot, turn one. Yeah, it was. And then his clapback was good. He killed uh, 30, no, he killed 40 Vanguard. Um, but then I had still, you know, 40 Vanguard. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and then, like, my after my return shooting phase, he's like, okay, all I have left are six chickens, two units of Vanguard, and some characters. So we can just call it. He's like, okay. Cause... I was like, all right. Dang. So I think we played for like 45 minutes. The table was not good either. It was pretty barren. Um, and I felt bad for Hank. Like, I don't want that to happen, but it would have happened to either of us, really, mm-hmm. it's if really one of us would have gone first. Who, whoever went first was going to have the major advantage in that game. For sure. For sure. Uh, so, yeah, then day two, um, uh, I got paired up against Colin. 
Yeah, um, and this is when so, we really find out like how much Alaska's really dulled your your, <laughs> your Warhammer skills. Oh, is that what it is? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. It hasn't sharpened them. Oh god no. Dude. You've been stuck playing me for the last like year and a half. What the fuck do you think's gonna happen? <laughs> Uh, yeah. So, uh, first two turns this game were like pretty good for me. I'm not going to lie. I like, I looked like I was in a good, I was in a good uh, position. Like I managed to go first. I blocked some stuff off and call in zone. Um, but, uh, I really made a mistake or two. Um, and, uh, I kind of pushed up too far. Like on turn one, I pushed up too far and that should have been my warning. Danny, mm-hmm. you're going too fast. You're going, you're too furious. You need to calm the fuck down. You weren't thinking like, about family. Uh, and I that wasn't. Was, Colin's playing Drukari, right? So Yeah, sorry. Colin's playing Drukari. Pretty, pretty, I, I don't want to say typical Drukari list, but like it's it's like 50 witches, 10 incubi, Drezar, Archon, 2 succubi. So Colin's uh, playing like a typical Drukari list. Um, and yeah. It's just, I mean, it's got all the good units. It's just in a composition that's different than normal, I would say. He's got a lot more witches. In and, and when you say you pushed up too far, like w- what are you meaning by that? Like I pushed out of my deployment zone. That's what I mean. Okay. I pushed up too far. So is that giving so, him like free charging or like free Yeah, movement? basically on turn two, he was able to charge like six or seven different units into my army. And so like um, that basically was like a huge, like he just, he punched me right in the dick, John. And <laughs> I uh, sent that gif from Bloodsport of the dick punching. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like that yeah um and uh like my guys just died like the entire uh there was a a great cry in uh binary cant as uh all this guitari in this expedition just died all all at once you punched you so great... hard some of the guys became twos yeah <laughs> um yeah, so uh, he was he was able to push up and like kind of knock me off the objectives and that kind of thing. Whereas before, I had really good board presence. So what a smart person would have done mm-hmm. um, was just kind of uh, like just stick some Skatari in front of my stuff mm-hmm. and like maybe two units and just kind of made a screen. Yeah, and said, oh, "Okay, here you go. You can have these units, but then when you come back, I'm going to kill everything that got on the objective." Yeah, who gives a shit? I hope you're going to. Is twenty Skatari? Who cares? Right, exactly. I've got I've got a hundred more where that came from, and so um, and I like I pushed too far up with my horses. I should have kept them as a counter charge unit too, because mm-hmm. like they could really just kill whatever. It didn't. It doesn't even matter. They're going to do a ton of work against Jukari with AP minus two flamers and that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, they're going to do awesome. So uh, yeah, I ended up losing that game. We kind of like turn four. I would have been totally tabled. Um, so. We just were like, okay, this is going to happen, and this is going to happen, and then I'm going to not be alive anymore. <laughs> <laughs> like, not even in game state, like in real life. Like, if yeah, we continue in real this life. game, I will be murdered. So Just destroyed. Um, so, yeah, I uh, uh, it was good. Um, it was a great game. I, I Like, this is my second game against Drakari. Um, and so I think I learned even more than I did my first game. Uh, my first game, I realized my squads were too big. In this game, I realized that I could have won this game. Like, this was my game to lose, mm-hmm. I think. But because I played badly and Colin played much better than me, he was able to he was able to kick my butt. But it was a great game. Colin said some really nice things uh, about my gameplay, which was good. Um, and like we talked about it, we came to kind of a very similar conclusion. Well, what nice things did Colin say about you? Uh, he said that I noticed all of the mistakes he made in the assault phase, and that made me very happy. I thought he was going to say, like, you noticed all the mistakes you made. I'm like, yeah, fucker, I did. (laughs) No, no, that's like a really, that's a really, like, that's a pretty cerebral, like, compliment to somebody's, like, uh, because I know that Colin definitely values his close combat skills, and they're good. Mm -hmm. Uh, Like, I made some mistakes, and he he very much punished me for them. Um, And, uh, yeah, I just, man, I need more practice against people like Colin. Yeah. For sure. say, what are what are some of the cool janky things he's pulling off here in close combat? Well, like, okay, so I heroically intervened my Skitari Marshal into a raider, yes. and there was a squad of witches within three within three. Mm-hmm. Um, and they managed to use their pylon and consolidate to actually get into my my marshal. And they did a bunch of wounds, and then the raider killed him, and he did nothing. 
So it felt really dumb to lose my warlord to something like, like he actually could have done something mm -hmm. if I would have, if I would have played him well. So, um, there was that. Um, also I removed, okay. So I had a casualty that I, uh, like a, like a, uh, a morale casualty, um, that happened on a unit that was in combat really close to the edge of the board. Mm -hmm. And I, and I had specifically placed the models like that so that I could use, I could, I could have one guy there and it would totally block off that Avenue to get back into my back lines. Mm -hmm. Um, but I'm an idiot <laughs> and I pulled that guy for, as a morale casualty. And I'm like, after I, after I looked and saw where, where Colin moved, I'm like, I am so dumb. Like I was doing that on purpose. <laughs> uh, very frustrating. Anyway. Um, so, uh, so that happened. Um, but yeah, just like, uh, like the micro minu like the minutia moves that he was doing and things like that, um, were really, really good. Uh, he, I don't think he made really any combat mistakes, like maybe a couple, but he did, he did very well. He's a great player. Um, I can definitely say what I can definitely see why everybody says that he's the best in the Northwest because he probably is. Well, like going down, you assuming you would be the best in the Northwest. I assume. did not assume that at all. I think like, I have that in man, some kind I hope of no form a... <laughs> over here that you wrote that down. So no, him I having told... been you, you'd be like, well, I guess this makes you the best in the Northwest now. <laughs> Officially. Officially. <laughs> um, so uh, I actually told him in the car I'm, and everybody, like, I'm like, yeah, I really just want to go three and two. That would be dope. If I go three and two, I'll be, I'll be happy with my performance. Like, because I'm like, I feel so rusty. Like I played three games since charity hammer. Did they do that really like shitty more than thing a month ago? where they were like, no, no, Danny, you'll do better than three. No, and two. no, no. They're like, really? You're going to set your sights so low. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah, bastards. I'm like, I'm like, well, no, I just, I'll be happy with that. He's like, and Colin said, and you'll be good. And I'll be like, yeah, that'll be fine with me. He's like, all right, cool. You know, like, um, like which rescind the podcast invitation. This person no longer wants to be best in faction. <laughs> I do. I just not that day. I didn't want to be best in faction. I just wanted to play Warhammer. Um. So yeah. So good thing I shot for three and two because my next game was against uh, Mitchell Hunter, <laughs> who is the guy who beat me at the last RTT in Spokane. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like the one list I don't want to play against. I'm like, God damn it. The rematch. <laughs> so this time I remembered that I had a pretty important strategy. No, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, it turns out that uh, the Skatari veteran cohort has a plus one to wound strategy, which is really good against a bunch of stuff that's toughness eight and I need sixes to wound. Can I just say I love the fact that Mitchell Hunter's team name is Girthquake? Yeah, dude, it's a great, it's a good team name, right? Yeah, yeah I'm a little yeah. jealous. He's 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 a pretty dope dude. Uh, you would definitely like him. Um, False, I already hate him. But here we go. <laughs> Actually, so here's a funny story. Check this out. Okay. Uh, the, the best infection until this. So Tim got a selfie with me, and uh, every nobody knew who Tim was, so they thought it was some random guy who who's, who recognized me. <laughs> and like wanted to get a selfie with me <laughs> and i'm like no that's just my dumb friend from alaska you guys holy shit could you imagine cool. could you imagine the horror of someone actually wanting to get a selfie with you <laughs> oh man can i get a selfie with you why <laughs> who are you gonna show this to <laughs> This guy's on a podcast. This narrows it oh, down. Man. Literally yeah. none. Yeah. You mean like every other person in this fucking room? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but oh. I did actually, I did have a bunch of people who kind of knew what uh, mob rules were and Grim After Dark was. So I handed out some stickers. Hell yeah. Did they know um, what mob rules was more or did they know what Grim After Dark was more? Uh, I would say Grim After Dark more. Fuck. God damn it. I know. It didn't take long. We did. spend five years building up this shitty brand podcast, and Papa uh, Papa Herb comes along, a little Herbie Haffelfinger, and just was like, yeah, go on our massive network. I'm like, oh, yeah. Sure. Sure. Uh, the one guy, John Smith, told me that he uh, voted for that logo for Grim After Dark. Oh, uh, nice. Choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. It's cool. He's like, good, I voted for that one. That one looks good. 
He looks amazing. Uh, anyway. Yeah, we're getting some so network stuff a little later here. But yeah, I played Mitchell. He played Custodes with like a little bit yeah. of uh, uh, Militarum Tempestus, looks like. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. He had uh, two units of Scions and a, and a character. Um, he, uh, I managed to go first and I did, <laughs> I did 10 damage to one Telamon. Oh, that was on my it. Turn. Um, which is so okay. You say that, but I was pretty fucking stoked. No, in hindsight, it's really is hard. The Telamon, the best target. Uh, I think so. Still, I don't think I would have changed my plan. I just think I would have changed the way that I did a couple of things. I honestly, I think I played this game. Like I made some really dumb decisions that I'll tell you about at the end. Um, but, uh, uh, this was a game where I was not as conservative necessarily as I should have been. So mm-hmm. kind of like, Hey, this is like the same problem that you've had last time. Uh, and maybe it's because I feel like I have so many guys that can just like throw their, wa- their lives away. And that makes me happy. It's very um, yeah. 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 Uh, well, not the happiness part, but the throwing lives away part for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, uh, first turn, I walk out, I do all this damage to a Telamon. I actually think I got it down to two. Mm-hmm. Um, I did really good. It was uh, like, yeah, because I lowest bracketed it. Um, and he was like, oh, shit, I need to move. So he like pushed everything to the center. And this is a direct assault mission. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, but he cleared like 30 Skitari on his first turn. Um, and then I got the other, cut the other, uh, Telemon down to one wound. I was so annoyed. <laughs> oh, I, I, I got that one down to one wound and I also killed a different Telemon or not a Telemon, but, uh, uh, the, other the, no, he the had sword and shield dread. Yeah. The, the uh, contender Galatis. Yeah. The Galatis. Um, so uh, yeah, I iced that thing. That was dope. Um, and then, uh, yeah, like I charged combat into the uh, uh, into the one to get it down to one wound. It was pretty much all Sakar and Rust Stalkers. But, it, dude, again, this guy is like knows how to roll a four up save. Like he really he's got this backspin on it that he just he knows it's going to be a four plus. And he keeps apologizing to me over the course of the game. Like he's like, I'm so sorry, dude. Like, <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's you know, the like, Micah Chapman of the, the Washington State. Yeah, except he's nice. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding, Micah. No, he's not. That's why it's funny. <laughs> um, uh, no, Micah is nice. He's nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's nice. So uh, this is <laughs> so Mitchell's like apologizing the whole time. Like, I'm did so he, sorry. Did he do and it I'm like, like the, the BP guy from South Park was like, I'm sorry. And then roll the four no. plus. <laughs> yeah, sorry. No. Then four it wasn't plus. The, it wasn't the sarcastic sorry. It was like a genuine like Canadian sorry. So oh, you knew shit. that he meant it. Yeah, right. He was like, sorry. <laughs> uh, so he, uh, we, we traded back and forth. On the last turn, he, oh my God, I felt so dumb. Oh, it was turn four. He advanced a Scion squad that had done uh, scramblers in my in one of my like back corners, like mm-hmm. onto my, onto an objective and stole it from me. And I felt so stupid because I had the resources there to yeah. make sure that that unit did not get on the objective. But I did nothing. It's kind of big brain plays that are being made now. Well, so what this did is it removed a banner for me. Mm-hmm. Um, which I already wasn't getting a ton of banner points. I think I had gotten, like, I was expecting to get 10, um, but this r- removed me down to eight. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, it's still, f- and it's, it's still five points of primary from me, mm-hmm. um, which was huge um, because this game ended up being 93 to 80. So, oh, geez, like, yeah, that is huge. Yeah, yeah. So that was a seven point swing right there, um, which is pretty big. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, and that turns it from like, yeah, I mean that, that makes me win the game. Right. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, yeah, that was a, that was a big deal. That was a bummer. Um, I should have played a little bit better. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's how that went down. Um, uh, like I made that big mistake at the end. Like I had a sulfur hound there that could have like flamed the squad and charged them mm-hmm. while I kept an infiltrator princeps on the objective still. 
Um, so like I had stuff there. I just, I don't know. I was too concentrated on trying to take the center of the table, I think. And uh, just probably being tired after five games in three days. That's fair. So, yeah. So I lose this one 93 to 80. Um, but a great game, and uh, I'll get him next time. I'm not going to let him win again. You're like, you oh. son of a bitch. <laughs> Third time's a charm. So That's you right. went 3-2 for the weekend. You ended up in yeah. 11th place out of 50, which is still really good. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm super happy with that. Like, well, What were you, sort just... of your thoughts on, on Harbor Heresy? Okay, so terrain was excellent. Um, like, I can tell that. So the the guy, Jason Bird, who runs it, um, he gets feedback from everybody at the end of every event about all the terrain. Mm-hmm. And like, he actively makes changes to it to make sure and make sure that the tables are all playable. So like he was asking us after the admin game, all right, so what needs to change on this table to make it better? Well, that's right. Like, it needs some bigger pieces of terrain. He's like, cool. Since this is all 3d printed, I'm just going to blow up this stuff and paint it. So like, and this guy has like, so it's all these tables of 3d printed terrain that look just beautiful. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, so super great. Any, I would recommend any event that's run by him for sure. Um, I know he's doing another tournament, Slaneshmas. Um, that's at, a like, famous the one, right? It's pretty big. It's, it'll yeah. be a major for sure. Um, and Slaneshmas happens like at the beginning of December. I'm not going to that one. I just, uh, that's like the week before uh, finals and uh, I don't have time for that. No, for sure. Yeah. No, no pleasure yeah. in school wise. Dude, so like, let me tell you, a normal school has a lot of assignments and stuff like over the course of a year. Law school has a final that counts for 70% of your grade. Holy fuck. <laughs> yeah, dude. So it's, or more. So like, <laughs> I gotta, gotta get it done. I gotta write a project about two books. Uh, that's that's it. I'm, I'm just baby <laughs> school right now. I'm, I'm like, and then I specifically chose this professor because they were um, famous for being expert in uh, medieval and early European literature, right? Yeah. So I knew any book that she assigned would be really cheap. So that's why my book nice. spending was like 20 bucks. So did you, were they, good? oh yeah, they were good books too, though. They were really get good like, books. Yeah. I got like Frankenstein could, and Faust. Yeah, yeah dude, you know, that's awesome. Dude, Those so. will be fun to read. I'm uh, Franken, the Frankenstein is like one of my very favorite books. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited for that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. We're going to take a quick break. Uh, we're going to come back. We're going to cover a little bit of net, network news, uh, including kind of probably a night change coming up in December. Uh, and then Danny, I'm actually going to run you through the lists of guests I have to that point. Uh, so wow. can react away. This is a little mob rules exclusive. And while I said, fuck BCP earlier, um, that seems a little mean <laughs> when they run all of our tournaments, uh, literally <laughs> off of their back of servers. So I guess for that reason, we should play this. Earl Hagen was a legend. In 1960, he whistled his way into Hollywood and into our hearts. Decades later, he made a comeback, lending those lustrous lips in the 1980s to such bands as the Scorpions, Guns N' Roses, and Pat Benatar. A half century after his humble beginnings, he's at it again. This time without cumbersome musical accompaniment, he'll have you wetting your whistle and whistling along. His new album, Earl Whistles Disney, is sure to be a hit with all generations. Order now and receive a bonus album, Earl Whistles More Shit, a collection of previously unreleased material of Earl's favorite songs through the years. On this bonus album, he demonstrates his newly mastered technique of inward whistling. Order yours today on compact disc or double-length cassette. Also available at fine retailers such as Walgreens, CVS, and participating Sam Goody stores. Earl Whistles Disney. Buy it today. Man, didn't even press the wrong button. That was just the joke that was building up. Yeah, I thought. I, yeah, I thought you definitely pressed the wrong <laughs> button, and I was, I was, I was laughing, but also it was funny because that ad is great. It is great, and it's so, also our most complained about ad, which is bizarre. Whatever. You think with us, people would complain about more stuff, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, you think they complain about things that are logical, like Black Templars? Oh my God, dude, that is okay. Nice smooth <laughs> transition. 
Uh, and to gr- Grim After Dark news, uh, can I just say my favorite bit from this whole thing is <laughs> forcing every week. Um, a, a Black Templars are the worst bit. Uh, this is uh, this. So, John, to you, and I know you pretty well. Yeah. This must be like very sweet to you to, to to get to do this every week, like because I know how much you love jokes like this, and like it just is the perfect one for so, you. I love them so much, and my favorite thing is now people have started tagging me on Facebook. Uh, <laughs> um, when they're pointing out that the the black templars are awful, or or the you know, or what we grim after dark say about this, <laughs> Man, okay. <laughs> I have like a real life John Marbles. John has no problem with black templars. Fuck that Marshall model is really fucking sexy. It's I have really a, cool, I have dude. a great joke about like I'm stealing from this guy Matt High. Um, about how he has a beautiful tiara. Um, <laughs> nice. <laughs> but the new models are great. Uh, and I'm excited for the faction. Hopefully they won't be like too super overpowered. I'm not a super fan of the uh, of the let's release everything in a special box uh, that we have yeah. going on right now. That's not yeah, my favorite I don't, release I don't care strategy. for that either. And, and like there's a bunch of stuff that we haven't even seen yet for them. I think. Hellbrick's coming. I don't know that. Yeah, I think Hellbrick is definitely coming. Um, there's another squad coming. We have that stupid flamer boy. Who, like, yeah, maybe yeah. it'll be no. The flamer boy's in that new box. I don't think he's in the new box. Oh well. So my guess is that they're going to do a uh, uh, sword brethren box of some kind or something oh, like yeah. that. I feel like. But there's been a lot of whine about it, um, and what I've realized this week is my hatred isn't towards Black Templars as an army; it's towards the player base. Where I think yeah, just the worst. Second only to chaos players and, and wine. Um, but that's okay. No, well, all right, come on now. Chaos players are equal to Tau players, if I've ever heard them in oh, my life. Man, it's the worst. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but Danny, about well, a look, we've all lived through Nate's complaining about that army. So, like, <laughs> well, see, you've moved now. I still have to every six months when one person wins a GT with Tau out of nowhere, he pulls Tau out of the the. Yeah, I know. Out of the attic, <laughs> out of the attic again, and then he plays it once. Like, yeah, they fucking suck. Yeah, <laughs> it throws him back in the attic. like literally. Okay, and it's not that Tau suck, and it's, it's not that Nate sucks. It's just I genuinely don't believe that Nate's play style meshes with Tau's play style. That is just not the army for him. Like no. he's so much better with Space Marines, right? Right, right, for sure. And then he's he's a great. Um, sort of case on on finding an army that matches your play style regardless of aesthetics which is weird shitty gundams um (laughs) i thought it was for the cat girl body pillows but you know what do i know yeah fuck (laughs) it's so bad um so likely um december started december grim after dark with changing nights um based on a couple factors uh one uh danny your gaming club um only wants to play on Tuesdays. Um, yeah. Now I will say if they change it to, we only want to play on Mondays. Now it might be personal, oh, man. I'm, yeah. I'll be, I'll be pretty pissed if that's the case. Um, and then also I need to start uh, fitting in games. Uh, now that Danny's a bandit state with uh, Taylor, who is a very good player um, and who I really need to sharpen my personal blade against and also play Warhammer. Hell yeah. Um, and hey, man, if you want to play some TTS, I'm happy to throw it down with you too. Oh, hell yeah. We'll throw it down. I'll swear at the screen. I'll throw Pogs Walkers all over the place. It'll be great. Hell yeah. You can flip the table. But uh, in a couple a couple weeks ago, I went in literally insane uh, and I booked two months worth of Grim After Dark. Okay. Um, so let's go through. I'm assuming you haven't seen all these, Danny. I don't know. Pro- probably not. I, I'm assuming like you, much like Val, much like the, the guests are probably just accepted the Google invite and called it good. Um, so... I accepted a bunch of them. I don't. I don't. I think I read them because the names were in the title, but uh, they're all titled "Grim After Dark Recording," and this is yeah. As well, yeah, but it shows me who it went to. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, well, this Tuesday we changed up, a and little I'm bit. a pretty good guesser. <laughs> Just telling you, <laughs> you are. You are. It's, it's that. It's a high level play. Uh, uh, this upcoming Tuesday we have. Uh, the lore bros were originally scheduled. Taylor had some real life stuff coming up, so it's just going to be Tanner. Um, so we're nice. changing some stuff around. We're going to be talking about Hammer and Bolter, uh, which is the anime series, is what I'm going to say, on the Warhammer Plus. Oh, yeah, cool. Which has three episodes out. All of them are amazing. All of them are very unique and different. Oh, I think I've only seen two. 
Oh, so cool. I got, I got something to do. More homework. Love it. Yeah. So very excited for that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tanner is a, a great talker, even if he doesn't quite believe it himself yet. Um, so very excited to get that going on and talk to him there. The week Me after. too. It'll be fun. The week after. I'm very excited about this one. This is a person I've never talked to. Um, is uh, infamous in the community and done a bunch of work with Ocho uh, on streaming. Uh, Scary, Scary is going to oh, be okay. on, uh, cool. in a couple of weeks here. Uh, talking about the Scary verse, Drukari, kind of things like that. Hopefully, we can make a couple of chainsaw jokes. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, we'll see what we can do. <laughs> we'll see what we can put in there. Maybe some <laughs> of the preamble will be mostly chainsaw based. Maybe we'll like, yeah, that that was, yeah. I think my favorite <laughs> thing to come out there. Man, so I, I already have a plan for this. Uh, <laughs> how we can kind of lead, how we can kind of like lead the topic into chain swords. Oh yeah, beautiful. So you have to tune in um, on <laughs> September twenty eighth. Yeah, Tuesday, September twenty eighth. A uh, week after that, Danny, I am excited for this one. I know you will be excited for this one. The topic is play on tabletop, but really, it's just going to be us bullshitting with JT Mctal for forty five minutes. Hell yeah, love that uh jt one of my favorite people in warhammer um i Same. think my time in charity hammer most of it was just sitting talking to jt about the weirdest stuff and then bringing him a chair occasionally because god i felt bad for his knees and or back oh man they look so bad <laughs> i feel bad for him man i can tell it's it hurts yeah it hurts what a fucking champion though for coming out and doing oh. a charity event when you're in that much pain dude man, like he's great that just speaks volumes yeah and, and i got to, i got to film him uh, in his wrestling singlet from his younger days, <laughs> yeah. which I, well, okay. Now I'm going to have to to pull that video so we can post that before the interview, because that, that thing is amazing and it needs to be seen on a wider audience than Charlie. I Hammer. agree. I agree. Mm. The week after that, middle of October, uh, the Falcon returns. Um, I tried to what? give him some topics, Fuck. um, but he said, fuck you. Uh, I don't care. I'm just going to talk about what I want to talk about. I'm going to swear. Uh, so Tyler, I apologize. Uh, it's going to be an edit heavy episode. If you listen to this, Tyler, <laughs> I'm sorry ahead of time. Ahead of time. Um, so yeah, yeah. Uh, Peter the Falcon Calisimo, good old Duke Falcon's going to come on. I want to talk about stuff. Like I was like, hey, cool. What if we did like like eight different like Warhammer characters, and then they fight each other, and then we like we have one eventual winner at the end, like a tour, like a Highlander tournament of like shitty characters. He's like, yeah, don't give me a topic, I won't follow it. I will on purposely go away from it. <laughs> that does sound like something he would say. Yeah, the, 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 the very honorary, uh, very surprisingly popular Falcon. I feel if more people knew him, um, then then that would be different. Uh, and then <laughs> Tuesday, October the nineteenth. Big get for for the Frontline Gaming Network. Uh, Papa Reese, Reese, uh, Reese Ooh, Robbins, going to be yeah. on the week, uh, the Tuesday before uh, SoCal. Yeah, going to be on. Uh, I'm going to be really interested to talk to him about. Hey, when you gave Val the keys to the Cadillac, did you expect it to be this? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Reese has only ever said one thing to me ever. What, what did he life. ever say to you? He said, sorry, dude, you're going to have to buy another convention pass. <laughs> so a little bit of backstory on this. Was it the, the 2020 LVO? Y- yeah, yeah, the 2020 yeah. LVO. 2020 LVO, Danny lost his pass um, or something happened to it. And he, you went up to Reese and you were like, hey. Well, you- I didn't know. I didn't even go up to Reese. I went up to the cash register. Reese is like off to the side doing manager shit. And uh, I'm like, hey, dude, I lost my convention pass. Like it was a bracelet um, that I I, th- I think I put on. <laughs> I don't know. We were pretty drunk. Dude, uh, the yeah, it was a, we were very <laughs> drunk at that point in time. <laughs> Um, yeah. Do you remember the line video? <laughs> Dude, they got ripped off by some other one. Well, who ripped it off? It was what YouTube channel has like just a clip of you drunk and like talk. Oh, fuck. It's dice. Is the chapter tactics guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> uh, fuck. It's the chapter tactics guys who did mog yeah. rules. Yeah. They credit us as mog rules. Yeah. Oh, fuck. That makes it so much better. <laughs> because now okay so now no one tell val 
and and Val, I know you're not going to listen to this point. <laughs> Whenever we refer to to network shows, I'm going to call it Chapter Tag Ticks with a G. <laughs> tag Ticks. Tag Ticks. <laughs> with my accent, it's close enough that you won't really yeah. notice unless you know. So yeah, Chapter Tag Ticks. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that was them. That's so good. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh. so yep uh that happened but uh, wasn't his mom that gave you a pass no. yeah no so so like <laughs> no so check this out yeah so so i told the guy um and i'm like hey i'm really sorry like i lost this like i had it snapped on it broke off like i have my other mention my convention passes here you can see like that i'm registered i'm fully qualified and the guy was like, well, and he looked at Reese and he's like, sorry, dude, you got to buy another pass. <laughs> I'm like, all right, man, that's fine. I'm not complaining. Like, I just wanted to know what you wanted me to do. I didn't have, I'd like, <laughs> it's all right. And so I walk over. To, so he's like, okay, go see her at the end and you can buy one from her. And I walked over and she's like, did you lose your pass? I go, yeah. And she goes, oh, well, I'll just give you one. <laughs> <laughs> So she gave me a new, a new, the new day pass. Oh man. If she that, was really nice. If that, if so do we have confirmation that that was Reese's mom? I, I think that that's Reese's mom, but I'm not sure. Cause we should really report her for theft. Cause that kind of shit at a, an organization <laughs> like frontline, not okay. Just it's giving not away stuff. Tolerated. It's not going to be tolerated at all. <laughs> oh, oh, and then man, you'll have to sell mob rules. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, no one's buying it. Friendline's already mined the money oh, out man. of it, which yeah. is you. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Uh, and then rounding out our Tuesday night sessions, October 26, a spooky Halloween episode um, with uh, the Lore Bros, hopefully back at oh, 100%. Cool. It was originally going to be talking about Hammer Bolter because I was hoping they would release some more by then, but now it'll be back to yeah. Black Legion. Uh, because yeah. we do not want to talk about Eskindor Kion without Taylor, uh, who loves him. So, I mean, I do, but at the same time, I don't like, I would rather have Taylor's opinion because it makes me laugh to see him get so angry. It really does. Uh, and his recall of bizarre things is great. Um, it's but yeah, pretty crazy. Yeah. That, that, that's our schedule. We just leaked the whole thing, Danny. Dude, We're like crazy deep throwing it over here i can't believe that you have gotten people booked out that far that's what i'm impressed with so i think for me like the week before the nick nanavati interview was set up which by the way was both the worst and best episode we've ever done. <laughs> dude what if we cut them in half <laughs> <laughs> um Oh, dude, yeah, it was great. He was <laughs> very elevated. Um, yeah, he was super elevated. <laughs> but, uh, like, before that, I had no one booked after Nick, and I started freaking the fuck out. Because I'm like, okay, this is, like, yeah, sure, like, the YouTube uh, only, or the, like, you well, it gets, like, what, a couple hundred views on YouTube, maybe, like, three or four hundred on, on Twitch, like, combined, like, a thousand overall a week. But the actual podcast is, like, a shitload of downloads. We're like, oh, fuck, why are people listening to this? Um, so I started panicking, like, oh, what if everyone says no? So then I just started asking people. So I asked Scary. Scary was like, yeah, I can do it this day. I'm like, cool, that's a week gap. So what about this? And I'm like, oh, Thomas, Thomas Bird, I remember I talked to you in a car. And it was super entertaining. By the way, <laughs> I probably should have, pre like, preamble with don't talk about beer wenches. <laughs> oh, man, that was awesome. <laughs> just seeing Val's little forehead constantly <laughs> twitch. <laughs> Yeah, you like, did oh, not like that very oh shit. much. I should have. I should have let away with this. Um, so, yeah, like, it just, it made me kind of like, boo -boo, okay, oh, like, we have three months now. That means I don't have to worry about this for another, um, like, attorney. and also it was part of a, a joke against Signals. Like, we, we have our little fake rivalry with the Signals crew, right? So, yeah, right. Uh, Seth keeps on saying to me, like, hey, you keep on stealing our fucking guests. Like, we're going to interview these people, and then, oh, no, no, they're on Grim After Dark. So, yeah, I literally... Dude, no. Okay, hold on a minute. Yeah. No, no. You don't tell Seth, like, oh, no, let me work with you here. You tell Seth, we are the fucking interview show, bro. <laughs> what I did, before I even told you okay. or, or Val, I, I created a um a chat with Kicker, Shelby, and Seth. I think it was like John complains about things that aren't really important. That's what I call the chat. Um, okay. 
I sent them a list. It was like, here's our guest list for the next two months. I was like, I don't want to hear shit about us stealing your guests. <laughs> and then it was like, and then I'm like, go. no, yeah. we'll go book it. Um, because, yeah, I do enjoy our fake rivalry uh, with that. And it is very fake. Uh, Great. For, for the most no, part. No, we love those guys. Apart from Seth. Um, who, who we no, I like Seth. Even if Seth is mean to me, I like Seth. <laughs> Just It's your dice rolls, man. He doesn't like your dice rolls. It's that I don't like that part. Fuck no. that part. Never seen a man roll so many sixes. But it's like, yeah. Anyway, sorry. With that um, on the go, I had almost had like a Vietnam like flashback, John. To, to sixes. No more <laughs> to, to the stompa. It's, it's fine. To the stompa. Just getting daka daka hitting seventy five percent of the time. It was crazy. <laughs> that sort of thing doesn't exist anymore. It's fine. Uh, no more daka daka. Oh, I know. I know. But yeah, so that is our schedule for the next two months. Uh, that is our guest list with notables like Scary Reese. Uh, we have uh, JT with Play on Tabletop, uh, a bunch of great people. If you guys have any questions you want us to ask them or any angles you want us to go at, um, obviously, as you've seen, like me and Danny do, we're, we're fine. We have, we have some good questions sometimes. We uh, so Occasionally. Plug, occasionally. Plugging and chugging away. Uh, but if there's anything <laughs> yeah, you guys want to add in there. And chug. Uh, let us know. <laughs> Uh, we will we will find a way to work it in, even if it's a weird, shitty in joke uh, that only three people will know. We'll do it. We'll we've, do it. We've got an extreme amount of tolerance for very, very specific in jokes. So we, we've built an entire media empire across two shows <laughs> about <laughs> very specific in jokes that no one really understands. Oh man, like the whole Fraser thing, like oh, amazing, dude. That's yeah. exploded so oh. much. That's on the Thursday Show logo. It's in their special thanks to section for the Thursday. Seriously? Show. Yeah, special thanks to Fraser Crane, and their intro music is the the music from Fraser. Man, see my weird shitty jokes. They get it was out good. There. They get out yeah. there. Yeah, you're an um, influencer, John. <laughs> <laughs> cool. What's it? What does that feel like? Um, it feels like I should have picked better things to influence than Dr. Fraser Crane. <laughs> or like a two year joke about like cutting Nick cutting me off in, in a bar line to only like talk to him about it. It'd be like, yeah, it'd be funny. I'd be like, yeah, I don't really give a shit. Well, I don't want to be known as that. I don't, I don't want to make you feel bad. I'm like, Nick, stop being nice about this. I've been a dick to you for two years about this, not to your face. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, it, it feels weird uh, that, that a lot of these uh, little shitty in jokes I make are now out in the public light. It's like uh, I'm a vampire jokester. It should never be seen in the light of day. <laughs> is, that, is that because of your pale complexion, or I'm very tan? I'm a beautiful man. Dad. Are you? You should know that. Uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <yeah. laughs> Let's wrap this up. Let's get us both to sleep. Danny, you anything you want to just throw in there before we, we ra- round this out and, you know, mosey on off? Uh, no, not really. Um, you can check me out on Best in Faction if you want to hear about my games again. But if you already heard them on here. I yeah, mean, it's the same you thing. Should give, you know what, though? If you want to hear some different perspectives from the same tournament, you can check out that interview that I'm on because those guys were all playing in the same stuff as me. And you can hear some of comment, Colin's comments on the game and that kind of thing. Um, which were pretty close to mine, but yeah. Yeah. Just less insightful. Yo, for sure. For sure. Yeah. Dude, he's best in faction. I am <laughs> not. <laughs> Playing that back at a tournament in 2021. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. We'll be back in like two, three weeks ish. Yeah. Probably. Um, and again, at this point now, Mall Rules is just uh, me actually talking to Danny, uh, not talking around or involving Danny. So it's it's just it's just a conversation between two bros who like, like literally like like we should schedule a recording. Do you want to just talk? Nope. If we're gonna talk, we need to monetize it, dude. Like some of the discords that we've been in, like I've started joking <laughs> yeah, about right? that, like because like for legitimate reasons, I've had to leave as Danny's jumped on, and they're like, ho ho ho. If Danny and John are here at the same time, it has to be a recording of something. I'm like, well, that's hurtfully accurate at this point, but no, <laughs> it's not true. It's simply false, sir. It's simply false. Oh, but yeah, we'll be back soonish. Keep listening to Grim. Keep watching the Grim. If you don't like it, download it anyways. Hey, help out the numbers. Yeah. Uh, for Mob Rules, I've been John. I've been Danny. And uh, we'll see you around 